Qatar government should encourage public assemblies to rebuild its international image. The SAR government should strategically reverse biases towards Hong Kong to rebuild its international image including encouraging public assemblies to demonstrate that Hong Kong remains a place of freedom and diversity, said Anthony Chung Bing Liang. Former Secretary for Transport and Housing, INA newspaper interview published Wednesday, Chung, also a research chair professor of public administration at the Education University of Hong Kong, said holding public assemblies and processions in Hong Kong should not be a problem. He said both pro-establishment and labor unions can hold rallies, showcasing Hong Kong's continued freedom and diversity. Chung also suggested authorities draw the line under the 2019 social unrest and drop the cases of some 6. 000 people arrested but not charged due to insufficient evidence, meanwhile, the former official repeatedly emphasized the importance for Hong Kong to strike a balance between national security and freedom. He believes that the current social atmosphere has not seen significant changes, attributing responsibility to both the authorities and the public. Given geopolitical tensions and persistent national security concerns, Beijing desires to maintain Hong Kong's internationalization while being cautious about further relaxing governance, he noted. Chung suggested that the government could promote debates to stimulate societal discussions leading to consensus, thus smoothing out reform implementation, he also expected Hong Kong not to overlook its traditional strengths in connecting with the West. Separately, Chung commented on the phenomenon where the SAR government has often denounced reports and comments from local and overseas media, which he said officials should be aware that they should be subject to criticism and should respond skillfully with magnanimity and political acumen.